if I'm Pope, and I'm like, you know, it, uh, get the comedians in there to to meet me. Put them up at the uh, Four Seasons. Bring the you know, tell the Vatican plan to go get them. Isn't that the class move on the on the Pope? Paying your own way. Well, isn't it's that's money you're taking away that could go to poor people or other people that we need to donate that money to to help. Hey, come Remember, on, man. what? Come on. You no. see the you see the the Vatican. What it looks like? They, it, well, they should sell that. It's beautiful to, to to feed the poor. Well, that's what I'm saying. That Vatican don't dust itself. We can't fly Conan O'Brien in. Well, Conan O'Brien can fly himself in with no problem. And why would we fly any of these people in? They're already coming on their own. We don't have to. You know what I'm saying? Do you even ask if you get if you get an invite from the Pope on the phone call? Do you go uh, airfare included? Do you even ask? Do you even ask? Well, you ask your manager to ask, <laughs> right? You go find out. If the Vatican's covering my flight, you know? <laughs> no, 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 no. Do you think that gets back to the Pope if if the manager did ask and the and and the the Pope's right hand goes, uh, just so you know, uh, Pete Corielli's manager asked if there was airfare included. Do you think that negates your invite if it gets back to the Pope? <laughs> no. <laughs> I think but well, you know, listen, this guy who do you think he even knew out of all those guys? I mean, you know, like Chris Rock. I mean, I'm not saying that some of them are more famous than others, but like how much TV does the Pope watch? Who Whose hand could the Pope shake and be like, oh, my God, I can't believe I'm meeting you? Anybody? Does he feel that way about anybody? This guy was a bouncer at a bar. It's not like this guy. The Pope you know, was? Yeah. This guy was a bouncer. At a nightclub. What? <laughs> Look it up. This guy was a the doorman. So, bro, this whole Pope thing is like nothing more than like a political, you won, you're the one we all voted on, so you get to be the, like, there's no calling or nothing. Like, there's no, like, he used to wash feet on the River Thames on Sundays <laughs> for old people. No? Just holy well then, then, then what, the, what does it matter? Then it's just a, it's not like you're meeting God's secretary or something. Well, that's what I think it's, you know, he's like holier than thou. I thought popes growing up were like groomed. You know, it was yeah. almost like you, you, you were born into a religious family and he's four or five years old and the, the family starts talking, make a good pope. You know, like... I thought, wow, you know, it was all similar yeah. to like an athlete. You start looking at a kid, you know, at seven years old, going, hey, "He's got, he's got an arm on him." Is that? I thought that that was the way the Pope was kind of groomed, going, "These okay, this guy's got a charisma. Yeah, he's, he yeah. loves to get out well, in front of people and spread the word." I kind of thought it was what you were saying, but I take, I thought it was honestly a step further. I thought it was more like. You had to be like a pope. You had to be a priest in some little village or some shit, and like a couple of miracles are coming out of your thing. Like fucking lady was paralyzed. <laughs> he did the cross. She she's working at the fucking supermarket now. Another lady was blind. She's hunting now. She can see. So they go visit you, and then they make a decision. We feel it. We feel it off you. You're the one. You're the one. It's not like grooming them like. Yeah, you know, keep doing your, your your workouts, and you could be pope someday. It's a it's a calling, bro. It's like they find him like a miracle worker. This guy is taking fucking IDs right. at the at the at the disco. Oh, well, did, shit. did we did we? Bring, yeah. His early twenties, he was a nightclub bouncer in Buenos Aires. <laughs>